Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 16 of the FIFA 17 My Player Career and I'm having a quick look at the table as we start. We're currently in fourth place after five games. We have lost against Benfica, of course, um, but Benfica are not top right now. It is Porto who are our top uh, joint though with Benfica, so we've got some work to do. And as you can see, the first game in today's episode is against Porto who are top of the table. So we lost against Benfica. Can we go one better and defeat Porto today? It will give us a good advantage. We are on a good winning run right now. And Kai scored in his last two league games as well. So can he make it three out of three? He's attacking right now. Plays the ball forward. Adrian loses it though. And Porto get the ball clear. It's going to be a tough game this one. And we are at home though. So we will have the home support in this fantastic stadium. Here is Haller. One of the new players which recently joined. But he loses possession. And Porto went on the attack. Which thankfully didn't go to anything. Because onwards we go. Ten minutes in. Here is Kai yet again. If he can play it through. No, he's trying to go all the way himself. A little bit selfish play there from Kai. Uh, but 10 minutes gone and still goalless. Porto though, winning possession yet again through the middle. Here's Matthias. Still going. Gives it to Kai. Kai's got a chance to make it 1-0. The goalkeeper makes a cracking save. A 6.5 rating though. Casillas it was who made that save. But I think that should have been the first goal of the game there. Great save. Palms it away. Out for a corner for Sporting. Well, like I said, should have been 1-0 there for Sporting. Corner comes in by Adrian. Here's Douglas. Gives it to Kai. Kai shoots. It's deflected away. Another good block there from the Porto defenders. Goes out for another corner. But that corner didn't come to anything. So onwards we go. Just over half an hour gone. And we're on the attack yet again. Cross comes in. Everybody missed that one. And for some reason... The crosshair thing stayed on in the area there, I can see. But here is Kai, tees it up, the shot comes in again. And the goalkeeper, he's having a cracky game. He's got to be player of the game so far. That's a great save, though. I think it was Adrian with the shot. Boom, straight at him, though, to be fair. And over the crossbar, it goes for another corner to Sport. It's been all Sporting, though, really, in the first half. And that one would have gone in if it wasn't for the goalkeeper, Casillas. Man of the match performance from him so far, as I said. Kai's on a 7 rating. Is there going to be anybody who's going to break this deadlock in the second half? 10 minutes gone in the second half and still no goals. But it's Sporting in possession. Will and Cavallo plays it onto that far side. Now Miguel inside to Kai. Here he is. Oh, he's been taken down there. And he's got a plus 1 on aggression for drawing his 15th foul of his career. And there is a yellow card then for Willy Bolly. Willy Bowley. Was a pretty dirty challenge though to be honest. Kai's just chasing through and boom, took him out. Thankfully he's not injured. An hour gone. Sporting have themselves a free kick just inside the Porto half. Free kick comes in, nodded on. And that goes out for a corner. Ha <laughs> ha. Thought he was going to keep it in for a second but it did just roll out of his reach. And out for another corner then. For Sporting, we've had so many corners this game, just not been able to take advantage of any of them. We've got four players in the area waiting for this delivery. Hopefully it's a good one. Come on, lad, get the cross in. Kai's asking for it at that near post. The OP near post crosses. Oh, what is it? That was a terrible cross. Straight back out for another corner. Well, like I said, that was a terrible corner. Can he make it better this time? Second time of asking. Corner comes in. A little bit better near post. Oliveira tried to cut inside but loses possession and it's going to be another corner for Sporting. Okay lad, come on. Third time lucky. It's our fifth corner of the game. Corner comes in. Nowhere near Kai. Headed away and Oliveira is not going to be able to get to that one. And Porto are going to get this ball clear. So three corners in a row there and all of them were pretty much terrible. So into the final five minutes of the game we go. Kai still in the ball there off the defender. Baz Dos, William Cavallo, Cavallo to Adrian, Adrian, Gelson, no, he's lost it, he's kept it, he's given it to Kai, last chance possible, Adrian, belt straight through for Gelson, unlucky, good save there again from the keeper, cleared away, and will we have enough chance, enough time for another chance even, got two in the area, Kai, Kai crosses straight across the floor, goalkeeper read it, and he's surely going to have the last touch of the game. Just waiting for the final whistle to blow. In fact, there is three minutes of injury time to play. But now Porto are going to go on their attack. And there is the final whistle. So it ends 0-0 here against Porto. 
which is not a bad result, but we would have of course liked and preferred the three points against the team who were top of the table. So, seven games played so far for Kai, pretty decent start to our second season. And next up is the game against Ajax. So we do get some Euro, uh, sorry, not against Ajax, Inter Milan even. There we go, Inter Milan versus Sporting in the Champions League. So it's nice to have some European action. And away from home too, nice to travel to the San Siro. Great stadium, of course, but who's going to come out on top? Struggling for goals? Well, we were in the last game, but can we change that today? We're on a good and unbeaten f uh, run right now. We did lose recently against Borussia Dortmund, wasn't it, in the last Champions League match. So we really need to go out and try and grab ourselves a victory here today if we are going to progress through to the next round of the Champions League. Now, but here is Kai picking up that loose ball. Is he going to play it forward? No, the guy just ran offside there. Plays it back for Cavallo. Nicely played through for Adrian. Adrian's chasing all the way through himself. 1-1 one -on -one with a keeper. Goalkeeper makes a good save. And um, that would probably be the first goal of the game. But the goalkeeper was there. He read it. Made the save. Alan Ruiz is through this time. Can he take advantage? No, he can't even get it on target. 20 minutes gone. Two fantastic chances for Sporting to go in front. But they failed to take um, advantage of them. And the scoreline is still goalless. We're into the second half now. 20 minutes to play. Less than 20 minutes to play. Kai steals the ball off the defender. Plays it inside. Goes on the run himself. There's two in the air if he can cross it. He tries to cross it, but the defender read it. And it goes out for a corner. So corner is to Sporting. Kai's asking for it. At the near post, yet again, corner comes in. Kai heads it on, and it's into the back of the net. There we go. The dead, the bre the dead deadlock has finally broken. I'll get it right eventually. Uh, the deadlock finally broken, and it is Kai of all people who heads it past the keeper to score in the Champions League. And that is the first goal in the Champions League, actually, for Kai. And we're into the final minute now. We just need to hold on, and this will be a huge victory. A bit of a shock victory as well for Sporting against Inter Milan. Away from home in the Champions League. Always good to score and win in the Champions League away from home. And we will get these three points wrapped up. Please, ref, there we go. The final whistle blows. We have the three points and a good win. Kai with the only goal of the game. So let's have a quick look then at his final play performance he did get that one goal 7.9 final match rating 27 touches in total and quite a few accomplishments unlocked as well there as you can see in the top corner and we've unlocked some winter gloves so what we're going to do is apply them winter gloves but what color shall we have i'm thinking green or black i think black would suit the the outfit better uh, so we'll go with black and do we have any traits? We do. We have second wind unlock, which is not that important in FIFA 17 compared to what it was in FIFA 16. And we've also unlocked outside foot shot, but do we have anything else? I don't think we do. Uh, so there we go. Two new traits unlocked and equipped. Uh, so far, the progress for Kai is looking pretty decent in all honesty. We have a game coming up pretty soon. Well, let's have a quick look at, what is it, the squad report and Kai's stats. And that's how we are going to end this episode, having a quick look at Kai's stats. 19 years old, 82 overall rated, £35.5 million in value. There is a quick look at his full attributes list. And there is his quick look then, five and a half almost wages a month, a week, sorry. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.